Yeah, hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. I've been a little pressed on time, but I found a window of opportunity to look into the new skins that we have gotten. The Independence Day skins, and wow, I am pretty amazed about what they have given out. Easy free this time around. Not only have they given us a Headhunter, and I'm very hyped on the Headhunter base skin, not to be confused with Ramirez, of course. So they gave us a headhunter and of course they gave us a Jonesy. We want all the action figures with all the Jonesies in front of us because why wouldn't we? This is a survivalist hero, which means that it's the same as what we know from Love Ranger Jonesy. And this was actually the soldier class that I progressed the most in while I was like learning the ropes of the game. So I'm pretty hyped about it. Has some amazing options with more life, better reload speed, increased weapon damage, you have damage for taking out opponents. So this is probably the best getting started hero that we have in the game. And of course, the male and female variants are identical in terms of what they can do and how they work. They're just skins, so like, <laughs> in case you didn't know. Besides that, I have to say, I'm pretty down on the Jonesies, as in not good. I really don't like them, but I do feel this Jonesy is one of the best looking Jonesies that they have like given us ever. I'm taking out the Headhunter here for a spin in the Power Level 100 Build the Radar mission, and of course I'm going to be showing some gameplay with the Jonesy as well. Just if you're out there, perhaps you haven't been able to get these skins, perhaps you didn't even play when we could get them, I don't know, but I figured I would be like including a little bit of gameplay for you guys out there interested in how they look with like amazing lightning stuff on them from Nature Element Husk using their abilities. Like I said, I feel these have the best base abilities in the games. We have the grenades, probably the worst grenades you can have, but we do have grenades and we can choose to change how they work with different support and tactical options in the game now. Besides that, we have the Going Commando ability. I'm pretty big on Going Commando. It's probably the least appreciated ability for soldiers but I really like it. And besides that, my, my this is a big one for me, the crazy, crazy shockwave again. This is not a good shockwave. It doesn't have any extra crazy stuff related to it, but it's there and it is amazing for crowd control. It deals insane damage. It allows you to get out of some pretty tricky situations and you can actually use it while playing to, like I'm gonna be showing in the video, jump off high places to not take any damage. So it's a pretty nice, like ability just to have for your casual game playing here. I'm building a relay tower. One of the things a lot of players get to do a lot of times in rescue the survivors missions or just in random missions like what I'm doing now to rescue survivors for the people currency. And when you've built something, when you're high up in the ground, you can jump down and you can use your ability and you're not gonna be taking any fall damage. So that is pretty awesome. Here we have the male one, the Jonesy. And then and this is actually a rescue the survivors mission. I took him into Plankerton, I think it was, just to take him out to show off some of his moves. And I have been playing quite a bit in public mode today, so I was joined in by a player this time around, XD Pootster. So thank you very much for joining in and helping me save some of the peeps in the world. It's all about saving the world. <laughs> you must never forget that it's about saving the entire world. That's why we're playing. Completing some of the new event missions while I'm in here. I still have two to go at the time of this recording, but like I said, I had a small window of opportunity to get a little bit of gaming done, get a little bit of shooting done, get a little bit of audio done, and hopefully digging a bit more into your amazing comments. That was pretty much what I had to share in this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you very much and very much for watching.